Hey, hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Get ready to do a beer review. You know what that means. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today beer is a Malice. We're doing them back to back, at least these two anyway. Uh, this is their Espresso Stout, which is a stout with coffee added. 9.5% uh, here on the bottle, is what it says there. Uh, this is from the uh, Grand Café Emilies uh, out of Camperland, Netherlands. Rotating schedule. Uh, it says the style is foreign or export stout. Uh, the food prank of this is a, it's a dessert type beer. So they've got dessert chocolate and the meat is smoked meat and grilled meat. So glassware, pint, mug, stein, oversized wine, uh, snifter. I got the new bell glass. So I like this for the stout. So that's what I'm going to use. Can be cellared at 9.5%. It will keep for a while. So guys, you can keep this one. We're not going to keep this one any longer though. See what we got. <clears throat> and pours pretty black. I don't see any light. It is black as night there. Pour the semi aggressive. See if we can get ahead. And it didn't generate much. So. A lot of times you'll you'll have that with the higher ABV stouts, they won't they won't generate much head. So yeah, as you can see, it's black with a pin lacing going across the top. Let's get a nose on it. I have roasted malt, coffee, maybe just a little chocolate there. Smells nice. Cheers, guys. Got the espresso coffee going on there. A little thin on the mouth feel, but that's okay. I'm on the bitter side, you know, but you're gonna have that with an espresso stout. I mean, it's a bitter, it's a bitter coffee. A little thin, a little watery though. Decent. It's decent. I mean, it's a. Uh, it's got a lot of roasted malt, with maybe a little, a little woodiness in there too. Other than having the thin, watery taste, uh, it's uh, it's right pleasant. But it's right out of the fridge, around 40 degrees, and we're gonna let this stout warm up, and I'm gonna sip on it for a little bit and see what we end up with, guys. So. I'll be right back and uh, we'll see what it ends up being, guys. Alright, guys, thanks for sticking around. I've got just a little left in the glass here. Uh, this is an enjoyable beer. I mean, uh, I thought it was a little better than the double IPA that I had uh, yesterday, so. It's a little boozy at the end now that it's warmed up in this room temperature. Uh, uh, it's at 10%. Of course, it says 9.5 on the bottle, but Ray Beer has it at 10, so uh, I'd, I'd trust the bottle more than I would Ray Beer or Beer Advocate here, so. It's a nice espresso stout. A uh, little thin, a little watery there, but not a bad one. I mean, it's not an exceptional beer. So, I want chug, guys. A little thin, a little watery on the end there. I mean, it's a, it's an okay beer, and uh, that's, what, that's what I'm going to grade it at. It's a I'm going to give it a 5. I'm going to give it a B- on the scale tonight. Uh, 
a little watery to me. Uh, I hear that the the other one, the Russian Imperial, should be a little more, a little more, a little better mouthfeel on this one, have a little, a little more consistent, a little thicker. So uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm probably going to end up doing that one tomorrow. So uh, guys, if you've had this beer, let me know. Rate beer has it a 96 overall, which is pretty good, pretty good marks, and 49 in the style. So somebody didn't like something there. And Beer Advocate has it as a B, so, uh, I mean, we're in the range there somewhere, so, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, give me some comments back on this one, guys. This one's right out of the Netherlands, so, uh, not too bad. Uh, it's a decent beer, so, guys, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.